guys, this is Alex from 4C Training and today we are on .usdt or should I say Polkadot, right? So Polkadot has its own network and it's quite a popular coin. I've been asked many times to review this one in the past, but in the past, as I was saying, we didn't really have much of an opportunity on it. And today, you know, as I was scrolling through my list, I actually, you know, stumbled upon it and saw something that it's quite beautiful to traders eye and I do think many of the traders will see this I mean at least ones that um, practice price action but this is uh, a quite has a several things that are connecting together to make a quite beautiful trade out of it and we will be checking that out in just a moment uh, also it's worth saying that Bitcoin we had a little short on Sunday on Bitcoin it's worked out fabulously because Bitcoin is you know sort of doing that sideways right now and it's deciding if it's gonna go down before it hits 14k and I've already spoken that in the past that it's not the worst thing that Bitcoin goes down right now and strengthens that uh, structure before it goes to 14k it could be long term speaking it could be even better but we'll see what Bitcoin is gonna do right I mean there's nothing too much, but uh, there's a reason why I'm using USDT contracts because I do believe that Bitcoin has a chance of going down, and you know, and maybe if Polka is gonna, you know, uh, be a little bit more uh, gain on some volume right now. It's probably gonna differentiate and go up, so it will be quite a good hedge against uh, against the other positions that we have on the altcoins, right? But before we go forward, let me remind you guys: please do subscribe to our channel, right? Like the video and punch that notification button so that you get our video on your front screen and we do make these videos every day except on Sunday right so opportunity is located right here uh, right down here right now I mean Polka has been on sort of a you know accumulation period for some, quite some time right now and it it was where it was it was on a good position because you know it basically created two more gaps or should I say accumulation periods here in the between before uh, doing the main one right now and then managed to pump above them all right so yes we have started to gain something on the left side and this is uh, potentially could prove on uh, proving to us to be a good uh, a good opportunity right not only mentioning that a daily candle will probably finish in about the next hour right here so we will have a kind of a, a double confirmation that one uh, though, though I do like to see two uh, daily candles uh, above the level to kind of count it as accepted level or should I say gained level but you know in this case I will make a move even if it's only one right I mean due to the fact that this chart is looks looking exceptional so far right and also one of the things that I've spotted you know we had incredible amount of volume a bit much more I mean a much more volume that we usually get on this and you can see that this hasn't happened for any I mean in a short past right so right now what I'm thinking that if even if the volume is going to be increasing we can get a nice little of a pump and po possibly tag this high of the level right here so we'll see right what kind of what kind of trade that will bring us um, so if we put up a long position right here with the stop loss under this it is about 10% okay so the stop loss is about almost perfect for us right 10% is usually what we go for and now the only question is where do we place our first profit target and you've guessed it probably correctly yes we will be placing profit target here which that brings us, us to about 70% on the entire uh, move on the entire coin or 1.6 R which is pretty good which is pretty good statistics for the first profit target and now in this case I don't see a secondary profit target or should I say a third profit target so this means that the level that I just tagged I'm going to put a secondary or third profit target and it's gonna be the last one in this case right and I will actually make a box because profit target is located right in this box and if we take the box right down the middle you will actually find out that is 3.4 R or 36% on the entire coin and this is where I would basically end my trade for now due to the fact that I have nothing to the left side I would end my tra tra trade right here and then wait if it's gonna break above the top right so if it's gonna go for the all-time high right above and you know there's several reasons and I mean I've also in this case I've checked um, the polka dots uh, market cap and market cap I gotta say it's pretty huge we're talking in billions right so if market if we, we're talking in billions for market cap I mean you do understand that it's uh, it's a little bit hard to uh, have too big of a push at once right so it's most likely going to have its withdrawals as well especially it's not uh, especially it's not network is not as old as link 
you know so just speaking as much is not it doesn't have the same kind of strength so we probably most likely see a pullback from this box somewhere to around this area where we can retake the trade in the future right but we'll see about that one we won't be trying to predict that one for today we will save that one for the later if this move actually happens right so if bitcoin is going to go down too much this move will probably get wrecked or it's going to come close to the stop loss but hopefully it's going to hold and then eventually go tag our profit target right so yes guys uh, i would like to invite you all to foresee telegram channels where we discuss stop losses profit takes and do bitcoin and ethereum analysis on daily manner and also again guys please do subscribe to our channel like the video and i guess we will be seeing each other in the next one